Hello again everyone and welcome to the back garden yard and today's video we are going to show you the strawberry plants we recently bought at Walmart now we got a great deal on these plants they were 10 for 324 and I bought 40 plants so is that a good deal or not I paid about $13 for 40 plants now normally these plants if you buy them more in the containers like I've got them in now they're gonna cost you you know three or four dollars a piece so let's say they cost three dollars a piece and you bought 40 then that's hundred and twenty dollars worth well I got them for thirteen dollars so I really feel like I got a good deal but did they grow that's what we're gonna look at in this video I'm gonna show you how I planted them what they look like coming out of the box and then we're going to go ahead and look at them it has been a week since i planted them so now we're going to go in and look at the video and then i'm going to come back out and show you how they look one week later and we'll see if i got a good deal or not okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix some special soil for these strawberry plants and what i'm going to use is the evergreen compost and manure and I get that at Lowe's uh, it's a little over four dollars a bag now and then this miracle Grow, you can get this at uh, it's the organic choice raised bed and in-ground soil with compost you I get this one at Costco but you can get it at I think Home Depot and Lowe's also or any garden center that carries the miracle Grow products. What I'll do is I'm gonna mix about equal parts of that, and then I'm gonna use some of this 10, 10, 10, and we're gonna take that, and we're going to mix them together and make a very high quality, high uh, nitrogen bedding soil so that uh, we can go ahead and get these things started because we should be eating strawberries from these plants in May. And then uh, I'm going to use this collected rainwater here. Uh, I collected some rainwater from all our recent rains. And I'm going to use some of that to water them with. And so that's the, the plan here. And of course, I'm not going to show you the shovel in the dirt. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm very excited to find out exactly what's in this bag of strawberry plants. You can see in the light there are some living plants, it appears, that are in there, of course. And so we're going to cut it open. And we are going to just dump it out here on the table. Make sure the camera's catching this it is I'm gonna turn it down a little more and so we're just going to dump them down on the table and take a look so this is my 10 plants and what it looks like uh, usually when you have a mass like this there's a rubber band in here somewhere holding it all all together so let's look for the rubber band so we don't it's gonna be hard to believe there's ten plants in here but we'll count them as we take them out shake off some of this soil mixture it's still moist so that was that's a good sign
Okay, so I've got all 10 of the bare roots in the pots they're going in. And now we're going to just take a scoop of the mixture here. We're going to put a little bit down on the bottom. And then we're going to just hold it up so that the, the plant part is right up at the top in the middle. We're just going to cover it up with the soil mixture. Like that. Same thing here. Put a little in the bottom. Now with this fertilizer mixture, I won't add extra fertilizer once I put them into the soil. This, this should be enough to bring them to fruit. And then you want to go ahead and you want to water. And you just let it water till it starts running down the table. Give it a good soaking with this rainwater. Okay, and I'm gonna finish the other ones with the camera off, but first, I wanna look and see what's in the next bag, just to just to show y'all what's in the, the next bag and see if it looks better than those did. It took me a while to find all 10 plants, but they were in there. So we're going to open her up. Wow, these actually look better than the other ones. Okay, first thing I want to see if I can find is that rubber band. There, no, that's a root. We're going to look for the rubber band because you'll tear the roots apart a lot of times if you don't get that rubber band from around them. Can't find the rubber band. But anyway, we're gonna see if we can bring out 10 plants out of this mass. So let's see what we got. There's the rubber band. Once we get that off, once we get this off, it's gonna be much, much easier. Be careful not to kill the little plants taking the rubber band off. There we go. Rubber band is all. Okay. So let's see if we can get 10 get nice plants out of this one. That may be number 10 right there. He's not looking too nice, but uh, that does look like a whole root system. And I'll plant it and see what happens. So there's the 10. Okay, and with that said, I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and then we'll show you the result. Okay, folks, so I've got them all transplanted and watered. It turns out there were indeed... 30 plants uh, there's only one that I'm really worried that probably won't make it and that is this one right here if you can see that one because there's no green to it at all everything else has got a little bit of green growth coming out of it and so I really believe that most of these are going to make it so there may be another one here that's not looking so good but Overall, I'm pretty pleased with what I got from Walmart. 
at about a third the price of what you would get from the mail order companies. And they came exactly the same way you get them from the mail order companies. And actually, a lot of these, like this one here, are in better shape than you get when you get them through the mail order companies. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to put them into the greenhouse. Okay, so let's go into the greenhouse. I've been using this, of course, for storage most of the winter. So the time has come to clean this place up because it's time to start the lettuce. Uh, may do a video on lettuce starting. Uh, but anyway, let's see what the temperature is. And I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it is 84 degrees in here right now with the door wide open. And it gets up to about 90 in the daytime on a sunny day if it's not really cold outside. There's a little bit of lettuce that I transplanted in here just to bring it in here. But anyway, here are the strawberry plants that I just transplanted. And they're all in, uh, each one was an original package. Each 10 row is an original package. So I'm going to cut this off for now. Leave them in here two or three days. I'll come back and show them to you again, and then I'm going to release this video. And if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel because the more likes, the more people get to see it. And we'll talk to you on the next video. I will be right back, though, in a couple of days to show you this before we go. Okay, folks, it has been a week. So I'm back now, and we're going to count how many we know have totally survived. Uh, this was the original 30. They were the Quinault strawberry ever bearing. And so here we go. If I can see any green at all, I'm counting that as survived because they'll, they'll continue to come on out. So just like that one there has a little green now showing that's going to make a leaf and the plant will survive. So... That's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a little green back there. So I got nine out of ten in that one batch. This one, one. I don't see green here yet. It'll probably come out. Two, three. Yeah, I see a little green there. That's four. Four out of ten is all I got out of that one. This one is uh, another one. All, all of these were in individual packages. There's one. And that one looks like it's going to make. That's two. So I only got two out of ten with this package. I'm uh, very disappointed in this package right here. So let's count total. Uh, over here were the ones I just bought these two days ago and transplanted them when I went back to Walmart to see if they were still in stock. And they are. Um, and these seem to be doing pretty good. I've got two, four, six, seven, and I can't really tell. I would say seven out of those so far. Now, just because I've only got seven does not mean more of these are not going to green out and come up. So, sometimes it takes a while for the root, root to spring to life if there's no foliage on the top, but it'll come on out. So I'm just counting for the purposes of the video how many that I'm pretty sure I've got. Okay, so we said 7, 9, 11, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I got 23 out of 40. Uh, a little over 50% have survived so far. I'm a little disappointed in that 
thing um, I may end up getting another eight or nine out of these though and that would be totally okay uh, if you've ever grown strawberries you know just how easy they are to grow and if you've never grown them I would suggest for the first time gardener this is something you should actually do because it's really hard to mess up strawberries they are perennial if you take care of the plants in the winter and you will get a crop the first year so I'm gonna give these another week maybe to the first of March here in the greenhouse and then I'm gonna put them in the ground uh, it won't take them long they will start blooming and I'll be eating strawberries in May off of these plants uh, so anyway that's it for this video folks I uh, hope you like the outcome um, I didn't get the results I was hoping for but when you buy bare root plants you can't expect a hundred percent survival but I would have liked to seen 75 percent or better survival but they still may yet do better but I'm gonna end up with uh, 20 or 30 plants for my strawberry patch and that will be enough and if you like content like this please like and subscribe because I'm going to start making many more videos now uh, you will see lots of videos coming your way we're going to take this garden this year from start to finish on YouTube and so please like and subscribe and that way you won't miss any of these videos that are coming out thank you for watching